Uh, did they uh, give you any idea in Denver about uh, what the job entails? Only in a very general way. Well, the winners can be fantastically cruel. And the basic idea is to, to cope with the very costly damage and depreciation which can occur. And this consists mainly of running the boiler, heating different parts of the hotel on a daily rotating basis, repairing damage as it occurs, and doing repairs so that the elements can't get a foothold. Well, that sounds fine to me. Hmm. Physically, it's, it's not a very demanding job. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is uh, the tremendous sense of isolation. Well, that <clears throat> just happens to be exactly what I'm looking for. I'm, uh, I'm outlining a new writing project, and uh, five months of peace is just what I want. That's very good, Jack. Because uh, for some people, uh, solitude and isolation can of itself become a problem. Not for me. How about your wife and son? How do you think they'll take to it? They'll love it. Great. Well, before I turn you over to Bill, there's one other thing I think uh, we should talk about. I, I don't want to sound melodramatic, but it's something that's been known to give a few people second thoughts about the job. I'm intrigued. I don't suppose they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? I don't believe they did. Well, uh, my predecessor in this job hired a man named Charles Grady as the winter caretaker. And he came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. And he had a good employment record. Good references, and from what I've been told, I mean, he seemed like a completely normal individual. But at some point during the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amuck and uh, <laughs> killed his family with an axe. Stacked them neatly in one of the rooms of the West Wing, and uh, then he. Uh, he put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. Police, uh, they thought that it was what the old timers used to call cabin fever, kind of claustrophobic reaction, which can occur when people are shut in together over long periods of time. Well, that is uh, quite a story. <laughs> It's still hard for me to believe it actually happened here. But it did. And uh, I think you can appreciate why I wanted to tell you about it. Uh, I certainly can. And uh, I also understand why your people in Denver left it for you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, some people can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where something like that actually happened. Well. You can rest assured, Mr. Ullman, that's not going to happen with me. And uh, as far as my wife is concerned, uh, I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell her about it. She's a uh, confirmed ghost story and horror film addict. <laughs> Tony, do you think Dad'll get the job? He already did. He's gonna phone Wendy up in a few minutes to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> 